could be some potential shakeups moving through the leaderboard if we continue seeing these teams on an upper trend. I mean, if we, if, if we see the same thing happen again, Lazarus making it to end game with a kill stack and obviously Tempo not picking up. It only uh, has to happen three more times. It, it, I mean, it does, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's out of a 50 point deficit, that's that's 10 points already that they've, they've gained back on Tempo. So again, we got 17 more games. That, uh, you can't be you can't be throwing away points like that. I love Lazarus and I love Tempo Storm, but we all know how Tempo Storm goes at one point. They're like, okay, that was a bad game. Let's just completely reset. It'll be fine. We'll cover everything. Next so something will tilt them. And then the next game, they'll come back and, and they'll drop 15 kills. And it's We're almost like poking the bear. It's yes. like, oh, yes, you, you knocked us out early. We didn't get a lot of points. That's fine. We'll just kill everybody this game. All right, so you can see nothing crazy on the plane path. Everybody's going to get pretty much whatever they want. I don't see any teams kind of going anywhere unexpected, per se. So uh, it's just really going to be about where we see the circle coming into play at. Riot Squad still trying their best to dodge our comms as much as we want to listen <laughs> in to them. Riot Squad, come on, give us at least one late game, guys. I mean... Uh... Last game was a was a bit of a weird one. See, we, we saw them crossing paths with Tempo, and things kind of fell apart once they once they got up to Stalber Hill. So I'm fortunate there. Again, I like the fact that we're seeing Riot Squad wrap like that because usually we'd see them, you know, try and balls to the wall, go into a circle. So I think you know, unsung hero of Riot Squad's got to be you know Voxic looking Ooh. at their macro game. Um, I like it, this. Can make it a little bit interesting. To it's get half started. empty. First circle's half empty. It's kind of like the it's, last circle, too. Yeah, no, it is. But again, you see the way these teams are positioned here? It, it just creates a massive wall on the west side of this circle. I mean, Tempo Storm usually goes over towards Impala. I, I think they will. They will They'll, they'll make their way over yeah. there, so it won't be too terribly bad. Now, one thing to note is we talk a lot about, like, Riot Squad and the way that they play and how they're very just synergetic inside of their kill phases. They actually do get a circle this time around. Now, one thing I wanted to note is they're one of the newer teams, so they don't get one of those prime looting positions and often have to make long rotations. Now they don't have to do this. I'm kind of curious to see how they adapt to that. I mean, we haven't seen them in a situation where, they're, where, where they've early game had, you know, a bit of a contest around their drop spot or, you know, run into a team first circle or anything like that. So. Again, one of the slower rotating teams, when they get a circle like this, I want to see them capitalize. I want to see them push, get up a 2-2 split somewhere, you know, somewhere demanding in the first circle so that they can try and pick up kills. Because usually they're picking up kills when they're running in from the blue. They're already kind of doing that. You can see Protégé and Mystery are off to one side, making their way over towards Puerto yeah. Perdariso. And then they do have Leda and VZ that are playing a little bit towards their west. They do have Player 1 Esports to the north of them. But Tempo Storm making their way over towards Impala, going to be able to loot up. Not a lot of rush coming up from Tempo Storm in this. Naturally, they're one of the teams that don't move very quickly. So they're perfectly fine with playing in the blue for just a second. But they get the circle this time around. It's going to be the majority of the teams that are not inside the safe zone that are going to have to figure out, okay, how do we make this approach? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's lucky Leonis is in this first circle because we've got United, P1E, and Envy in there. So that's going to be an interesting one to keep our eye on. Ghost actually in a good position. On, on this north side, obviously, Minas, the way the terrain works on the north side of uh, Minas, Again, notoriously difficult to rotate through. It's one of these areas in Miramar we talked about where you can take a vehicle in there, but it's not a smooth transition. It so. just leads directly into La Bandita, which is very, very messy. Exactly and trying the to same, yeah. There. It's, it's very, very hard. So that's why Ghost separates out and gets a little bit more. We do have Envy back over Los Leones. No big surprise. This is where they like to play from. Genesis, also no surprise. Very early rotation coming out of these guys. I... It always amazed me. I always look up at the time. I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's three and a half minutes. Genesis yep, and moving. Yep, they're, they're already on the go. <laughs> I mean, on a circle like this, this is where you definitely want to rotate earlier. They do tend to actually get the circles just based off of their very centered position. So this time around, stopping, getting a little bit more information, trying to figure out, okay, what's the safer approach point? Again, we talk about it all the time. Information saves lives in PUBG. You don't always have to send it. No, and Genesis is one of the teams that we, we, we've seen a... A couple of times do things that are, you know, out of character for them. Obviously, we've seen them clash a couple of times with Sonics on these Northwest circles. Again, not something we're, we're, we're used to seeing. So it's good to see them now moving early, but making use of that time to scout and not, not just say, this is a compound we want, we're going for it. Oh, now this is interesting. Tempo Storm on a little bit of an early rotation as Envy is leaving Los Leones. That's actually going to put a couple of their members in sight lines. You can see Sharky taking a couple of long range shots as I believe it was Zampa that's right in the thick of all of Envy and has to be very, very cautious. I don't think they know Zampa's there. No, they do. Uh, Moody's just shut him down. I was okay. going to say, I don't think they know that Zampa's at this compound, but unfortunately, Zampa fallen early. Moody getting the knock in terror again, getting the flush there. So Envy going to get themselves into a prime position in circle one. I feel like this is kind of a cascade off of oh, Tempo Storm having to make a very long rotation over towards Impala and then get their loot and then trying to make their way back out. They were just a little bit behind the rotation curve. They were, and you, typically you'd see them drop into Impala and they had this weird, they would drop for vehicles and 
I think it ended up being like, well, circles pop now. I'll stay here because I'm center circle. So again, that's the sort of things it comes down to, you know, the discipline to say, this is our game plan, regardless of whether or not you're in a good spot, you're on your own. You, you, you run the risk of getting crashed when we know teams rotate at three minutes 30. It's starting to get really messy back down towards the Southwest. <laughs> a lot of these teams have decided, hey, let's just rotate back down along the coast. Well, we've got Loki, Genesis, E United, and Rumblers all in this position. Loki doesn't have a good sight line on some of these rotations. Genesis capitalizing off of the terrain. But there's going to be a couple of more teams that are going to be following along a similar path. I wouldn't be surprised if Loki could maybe get one or two of them. I mean, we've actually got Pax and Lobs all the way down the south road. With Fignaldo further to the east, so... I mean, I'm hoping Nerf... He has the, he has the two-seater bike, so he has got the opportunity to stay off the road here, but this could cause problems for, you know, Profi, K-Mind, and h when They're all rotating behind Nerf. Well, nice... Nice logic that's being approached right now with Genesis. Don't go back down to the road, cut the path. It's a little bit more dangerous, but falling back behind that could be rumblers who do look like they're opting to play along that road. Genesis, they really like to play along this terrain point as they go through here. We've seen them play this quite frequently whenever they make their path along this approach. They're not one prone to go back down to like that scenic road down towards the south. So this time definitely pays up for them. Now I'm curious, does Loki have the awareness to know the fact that is, did they choose this specifically to go? I think that a couple of people are going to rotate through this. Lazarus actually finding a couple as well as Zenith is making a rotation next to them. Nice shots come out, and Walt Jr. is already sent back out of the game. Yeah, and Zenith is, uh, Zen Zenith? Is? Zenith. 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 <laughs> we'll just merge all the teams together Zen. into that one right there. Zen, I'm going to go with Zen. Zen choosing to come and uh, try and take this rotation path. Minas. Um, I, I'm, I, I mean, it's actually lucky that Ghosts have come out south. Uh, down the road, but Lazarus in a great position here to pick up some rotation kills. Obviously, oh, I did talk about this terrain being difficult to rotate over. It forces you into certain paths that are in line of these compounds. Loki not in a position to capitalize off of this rotation. I thought for certain they were moving down here to try to maybe get a couple of kills, catch somebody as they're rotating through, but I mean, it's, it's, too, it's too defensive, and now it's too late. Like, you can see that they're talking about, they're like, is there another vehicle going through? I mean, and now, finally, Cherry Poppins is coming through, does get spotted out, and look, that's the difference, 20 feet right there. I mean, the, the other big thing to note is uh, we do actually have Endemic and SSG rotation. Uh, Micro's stopping, I think, because he's got a med, but this is giving Pax and Vignaldo an opportunity to come back here and and hold him. They heard the vehicle coming back through here. They know that somebody stopped next to it. Fig is playing that high ground spot, but Waldo's also going for a reposition off to the side of it. Micro is just trying to figure out, okay, where do I go? What's the angle that I've got coming from it? Fignaldo slowly creeping up, but not going to see the head of Micro Fry. It is so close right now. Micro Fry is just clinging to that little bit of a divot, trying to survive. You can see Fig is just peeking constantly looking for it. I mean, he's got a level one helmet as well. So if he looks for this peak, it's obviously it, it, it's only gonna be two shots until he's down as well. So Micro Fry needs Waldo to push up here, try and break an angle so that Micro has a bit of a space to move. Well, I think that Waldo's feeding over the information like they're on top of the building. Do not peek this, lean back down, just stay in a defensive spot. And right now, Los is actually quite a ways away from the rest of the team, but he can't yeah. come over here because he's got Genesis surrounding him. Yeah. So he's kind of positioned out. It is just these two members versus the other two members of Loki. And actually, Waldo taking some shots over. Fignato is going to try and smoke off one of these sight lines, but I can see why Micro stopped now. He lost the tire, his vehicle's nearly blown up, and he was down to kind of 1 HP. Waldo Lobes goes down. actually knocking Waldo. So this and is look at the aggression. It's huge coming out now. now they, they know exactly. They, they have no anchor now. They've got nothing to stop them pushing Micro fire. So I want to see Fignaldo and Pax push up, clean up this fight. And they're starting to be very aggressive with it, making him push from two different angles. Micro fire is trying to go. Nice spray onto one of them. Going to go ahead and get it down. Looking oh. for the flush onto it and just barely gets it. Microfry does go down inside of this. Should be Mike getting flushed out. Waldo should already be flushed out here in just a minute as well. But now it's I'm, all under los. I'm sorry, but they should not have lost a player there. They should have. They should. They should yeah. have pushed that double peak tip. Uh, I mean, it's shame to see, but you know, Loki cleaned that one up. Lost now. I think yeah, loss is the last one up now for Rumblers. So. Here's the problem, though. New Circle has popped, and it's way up towards the north. So everybody that's been playing along that coastline that we saw a lot of these teams rotate through, not inside the new safe zone. So a lot of rotation is going to be coming out very quickly here as we do have Endemic, Space Station Gaming, Genesis, Los, the last remaining member for Rumblers, and Low Key all making their way towards the safe zone. Yeah, it's actually got Envy crashing into uh, Sharpshot. Sharp Sharpshot Sharp actually getting an open knock on the pat with that nade. That's absolutely huge. Going to go ahead and get the flush onto this, so a little bit of vengeance back for Tempo Storm, but there are a ton of Envy members flooding around this complex. Maluka's trying to find something out of this, got himself an outside angle for it. Defense is starting to come out from Tempo Storm as Envy is trying to figure out what's going on. We do have the high ground coming out from Sharp Shot, but Envy can't press in. They're trying to figure out where is everybody else from Tempo Storm at? This is a straight 3v3 right now. Tempo 
already having control of the compound, but Envy managing to get both members inside this concrete building. Sharp shot effectively trapped upstairs. He's going to smoke off the line of sight onto the stairs, but Maluk and Sharky need to make moves here if they want to save Sharp Oh, shot. that grenade bounces a little bit away. So with he's, this, he's outside the door. Yeah, yeah, he's just playing on the outside of it. Good knowledge on this. Looks like they're going to follow up with another grenade. So there's a lot of utility being wasted off of a smart reposition coming up from Tempo Storm. Uh -oh. Moody might get it with his underhand. Oh, Under my God. Underhand toss oh my is going to land right back behind it. Is he going to oh get it? God. He does go down. Nice grenade coming out from Moody. Gets a little bit more space and control. Now Taro, Pry, up in that second story on the hunt for the other members of Tempo Storm. Now it's just Sharky and Mo Luke trying to figure out what they're going to do. Looking I mean, the angles for this and hiding out next to the buggy of all things. I mean, right now, all, the, all they need to do is just hold the angle. So... <sighs> I wouldn't expect Tempo to push him right now. If you look at the circle, Envy should be the, the aggressive the aggressors of this fight now. Well, Envy has control over their building complex. Tempo Storm's just playing back towards the end of it. Woody going around the outside of this with Taro. Pride's on the outside of this. Looks like he's trying to get a little bit more information, but here comes the push. Tempo Storm is being very, very patient and waiting for it. Look at this angle coming from Maluk. If they step around this, it's just gonna be a firing line. Shots come through, doesn't get the down onto it. Peaks back around, does get one. Goes to the peak back onto it, but Taro takes about half damage. Now Pride's trying to capitalize. Circle around the outside. Oh! Sharky follows up, tries to go for the flush, and we are now down into a 1v1. Sharky against Pride with a couple of third-party people taking shots on the outside. I mean, Sharky's going to try and stick this res, but you can see Pride, Taro, and Moody Sharp shot. damage. He's still alive. He can see the res going on. He can feed that information back over towards Sharky. Is Sharky going to go for the play onto it? Slow, steady, steps over. Oh! And no, Envy manages to hold it through. Wow. Clutch from Pride there to break the res and still get the shot onto Sharky. Again, a heads up from Sharp Shot to feed that information. Unfortunately, that when that information was fed, I think actually uh, Pride broke the res to hold they that angle. Yeah. So, uh, wow, what a fight. I really love it, Riot Squad. Starting to make a path over there next to Envy. As you can see, Genesis also making that push by Player One Esports. Envy had themselves a little bit of a fun skirmish just a second ago. And looks like they might be getting a couple more visitors as Riot Squad and what? Genesis what? both crash into the complex. Everybody what? is just getting destroyed in this position. I mean, Genesis lose two immediately. Nerf is knocked as well. Envy is just watching this like, hey, Great. Envy's just like, yeah, we're cool. That's we're fine. That works out for us so well. Envy's just holding the line like, wait, didn't like 10 vehicles just crash us? What, ju what just happened there? K-Mine just out of this. Taylor J has an angle back for him, but it's going to be Vanquish that takes a couple of shots over towards Taylor J, forcing him back and away from this fight. Wow. It's, I mean, Envy again in a position where they can clear off. This. Uh, P1E, e sports. P1E actually putting a lot of pressure onto Riot Squad. Mystery is the last guy up here. He's going to try and get the res onto Protege, I think. But Envy in a great position to pick up some more kill points there. They can just walk out and get two to three easy points. This is not even inside the safe zone right now. So Player 1 Esports taking the long range shots back over towards Mystery. Looks like he might be able to get the res. K-Mine did manage to get away from that. So he's managed to make his way inside the safe zone. Got himself a little shack that he's going to be living in. But a lot of people looking back that direction. Res does come through. Protege is is up. Mystery's taking a lot oh, of damage. No. Player one esports still following through and Envy has to do nothing to control his complex. I mean, the problem now being that all these teams need to move. So Envy needs to clean this fire up now so they have an, uh, an opportunity to rotate in. Again, P1E just sat here outside the circle, pressuring Riot Squad away from this. It doesn't really achieve anything. Oh, here it comes. The push coming through from Pride off to one side. The reses do come through. You can see Riot Squad trying oh! to capitalize. They do get one out of it. They still have the two members up. Make that one. Mystery is very low on life right now. Taro's looking around for this. That Molly! Got to come through the Molotov to finalize this. Wow, unfortunate there for Mystery. Obviously, he didn't get a chance to first take it after his res, so that Molotov is going to instantly shut him down. But Envy finally making moves to secure their compound so they can advance into their circle. Now we've got player one esports freed up from that, starting to make their path back over towards the safe zone. Envy should be doing the same in just a few moments as they're going to go through and collect a ton of loot that's out there. I mean, Lamb already picking up three kills and we're, we're coming into circle three right now. So, again, great work from P1E, but a lot of time invested there to try and clean up that fight. United's opting into going way around this. Looks like they might be opting into towards the north, which is pretty open right now. Loki's still on the edge of the circle. Space Station Gaming still playing around La Bendita. We talked about beforehand that Minas Generalis La Bendita area. Very rough terrain, so you can see a lot of teams have kind of just hopped over that, finding little different points that they can play closer towards the center of the circle. I'm liking this Rafa United as well, because the least congested side of the circle is going to be the east and the north. So the fact that they've actually come all the way around on the uh, eastern part of the road, it's going to give them a great opportunity to scout a lot of terrain in front of them. Obviously, it depends on the next circle shift, but look how much space they're going to have on the northeast, man. Player 1 Esports gets themselves in nice position that's very safe because they've got these rocks up in front of them. But I was going to say, it's really hard to get any information. No from information forwards. Yeah. yeah. So I, I like the fact that they stopped there for a second, 
regrouped, and now going to continue forward. I was very worried that they were going to stop right there. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, they're, they're looking like they're rotating up towards the United. So I don't know if they're, we're going to see kind of a rotation clash here or if they're going to catch sight of each other. But uh, K-Mine managing to get himself up to a shack. As, as we see here, look, Dietrich's all the way up, up on the northeast side of the circle now. Belfast is out of his vehicle, so I think he hears this. He's calling this out for the rest of his team. Yeah, you can see here. From Bailfrost, Dietrich's all down to about half life. Everybody Ooh. from EU Knight is looking back onto this angle. Dietrich has to abandon the vehicle, does go down from shots from Stab. Now you can see EU Knight trying to figure out, okay, which angle do we want to make the approach from Bailfrost? And steps out, trying to take, trying to get away from this, takes a little bit of damage. I mean, actually, yeah, a great heads up play from EU Knight there. Bale communicating, obviously, this team was rotating past, and actually, two players of EU Knight swinging back round to look south. Again, puts P1E in a really, really difficult situation here. So, player one esports still right along the edge. Caught up in that skirmish with EU United. You can see that Envy looking back over towards Endemic. Endemic do have themselves a fortified position to play off of, but... And a Groza. Yeah, Envy's just kind of playing around these low hills. We see this happen to them a lot. Whenever they lose a couple of members, they're perfectly fine with just taking the foothills of a building complex that's already claimed and let the third party, like, kind of contain everybody that's across the top of that hill. Shrew does get spotted out and does get taken down off of that. That's an interesting play to... Player One Esports capitalizing off of it, so you got to give him credit oh! for nice shots. Lamp. Falling through back over onto this. Lampalot is on fire right now, sitting at four kills just by himself. I'm nearly getting stabbed down as well. I was going to say, yeah, Lampalot doing majority of the work for P1E here, but wow, he just hit some insane shots. I don't there. know what Lamp had for breakfast, but man, it is paying off right Why now. Why has he not been eating that for the last three weeks? Now, one thing to note, Taylor J is very far forward into this. Going to try to get a spray back over towards Player One Esports. Connecting with a little oh. bit of damage, does get one down off of it, but it reveals his position. Now, everybody else from EU United has got to defend him off of this. Taylor he J in to kill everyone range. Here. He's trying to bounce it over. It's going to be a little bit to the side, but Lampalot going for a reposition off to the side of this. Taylor J realizing, okay, this might be a little bit too far forward let me retreat off of it detreats on no life just walking forward trying to find I either don't, a he dip can't survive or this something this I don't think be, it oh this could be big is it going to come off in time oh. just barely now going to run ahead of this united trying to get those positions ahead of player one esports the third party is actually coming out from vanquish and going to start tearing down player one esports they have to be so cautious uh, a nice awareness from vanquish as well here in this fight in uh, you guys can't see the map right now but vanquish positioning themselves outside you can see where finno is here and tetra obviously in a position to pressure this so again this is the vanquish we wanted to see in this phase three all right, Lampalot's just decided to send it right next to EU United. He knows that they're there. He knows there's nowhere for him to go. He's going to die, so maybe he can get at least one more point out of this. I love the confidence coming from it, but Taylor J's around the side, oh. and you can just see mopped up very quickly. Yeah, great awareness from EU United there to swing back on that, but again, this is a massive investment of time to kind of clear up this fight, and neither team really aggressing clean. So again, EU United still outside the circle. They got wild card in their way. And if you're curious on why that push came out the way that it did, and Lampalot just opted into running up next to United, there was no clear path. Vanquish already really had great positioning. If he tried to hop in a vehicle and make his way towards the safe zone, he was as good as dead. I mean, trying to make that way, at least try to go down and get a point out of it. Everything west of here is open terrain, so you're going to have two or three teams shooting at you in the open in a vehicle. So, again, if you got four kills, I respect it. You go for an extra kill. It's, that's absolutely fine in my book. And you can see EU Knight is trying to make that push that we were talking about. It is just so wide out in the open. Shots are starting to come out from Vanquish on one side. Going to have wild card on the other. Somehow they're managing to just juke through everything, finding that one rock, that one shack to get a little bit more space. Smoke's going to come out <laughs> right in front of the shack and just run through. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to try to throw it in the window, but I think he thought he was going to try to do that too, but it doesn't pay off that way. I mean, Taylor J managing to make it to a shack. You can see here his one... Uh, not the more favorable of the two because it's just south uh, southeast of wildcard here but bale and stab both both making their way to the to the shack further into the circle so again they're just relying on circle shifts now in the center of the circle we do have ghost gaming and lazarus right now holding down building complexes over towards the west you can see it's very congested players look right at the now. mini map yeah, there's look, so look. many teams over here if the circle goes back over towards the east it's going to be ah. real interesting and there you go <laughs> Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry, players. I almost, like, cursed him with that one, didn't yeah, I? Why'd you have to say that? I know. We <laughs> I should have said stay over to the west. I mean, this is what we want to see, right? Ev fun. Everybody on the west has to die now. That's good. Well, no, uh, there's going to be one person that manages to make it away. I, I guarantee it. But really? Envy's going to go ahead and opt into an early rotation with it. You can see Space Station Gaming playing back in La Bendita Crater itself. It's about out lobes. Going for a little bit of a cheeky reposition back behind him as he does have two members that were playing the top of the hill, but now it's going to make low key. That was kind of their ace in the hole there and just gets taken down very early and a little bit more extension coming up from Valier. Looking back down on this, is he going to spot out everybody as they make the push forward? Envy finding themselves in a little bit of trouble as they decide they want to go hang out next to Ghost Gaming and kind of regretting it. Yeah, and right now, obviously, Valier just pushing up, looking for these free kill points outside uh, on the edge. Chaba actually going to get a response on the Valier, so loss. 
He's the last member on his squad. Remember, we saw so yeah. much happen to Rumblers early. He's still alive, and he has Sonics in front of him, and he knows oh my he, God, he, could knight. he could do this. Is this going to connect with it? Oh, my like God. It's going to go back over oh the my tree. God. Is it going to fall down right inside oh! the last? And yes, it does. Los manages to buy more space and more positioning for his team somehow by himself. This is the phase two loss we wanted to see. Again, I love that. Waited by this time. He was looking for any other teammates as well to identify if these were the last two or not. Great placement with the grenade. Chubba Bubba still outside in the blue right now, slowing down Space Station Gaming as they're just on the hunt, trying to figure out if there's anybody else back behind them. A lot of these teams already capitalizing on moving, but this is kind of a sacrificial play. They do have this to work with, but I don't know if you want to make this drive. As you can see, everybody on Zenith kind of regretting making their push back over here. Narrowly, Kendo gets into cover, but Wildcard on the move now as well as the United Shack is in the crossfire between them and Vanquish. Yeah, the SSG unfortunately, where yeah, Jason getting knocked out, I was going to say they're going to be really low HP, having to tank the blue to come in in a vehicle like this, and there you go, head tour down to the blue as well. So SSG going out in 11th place. So Lazarus are right on the edge of the circle. Wildcard have found themselves a couple of little dips to play from, but you can see every single time they pick up their head. It's just a headshot coming back their direction. K-Mine got himself a little bit of a visitor, as you can see, it's going to be Evaluate that steps up and gets that kill just a second ago, and that's why we're down to one member on Loki. Uh, Lazarus has taken a couple of pot shots back over towards K-Mind as well. So Chubba Bubba aware of the position. You can see the smokes out. Now it's just going to be a matter of what does Genesis do as Taylor J does get spotted out by Wildcard. Uh, and like I was saying, the, the more favorable are the two shacks. Balfoss and Stab still alive in this shack right now. Wildcard being pressured from pretty much every other angle, oh, so they Chubba can't push onto him. He's taking some does, damage back there, just trying to chain med through it. He might have had it tight. Does Chubba see k -Mind? I don't think so. I think it's actually the tree that blocks it out with that smoke. So k -Mind is just bouncing from cover piece to cover piece, but he's taken oh, a no. lot of damage. Oh, there you go. Shrimzy getting him. Spots it out. Chubba steps up Shubba's... and he's like, oh, well, uh, I guess that was not a kill I'm going to be able to get. So it's going to be a lot of blue damage coming back after him. And let's be honest, even if he steps up, yeah. somebody's going to see him. It's going to be very hard to go through. Rumblers do get eliminated as Los does finally get spotted out. Circle does pop back over next to Vanquish and Bale Frost, who's managed to kind of find himself a nice little cover piece right next to Wildcard. Yeah, that, I think actually Stab's still up with Bayo in the shack. I haven't seen him die in the kill feed. I know we haven't watched him too much, but Wildcard were trying to pressure onto this, and now with the circle shift, Wildcard don't have a lot of space on the north side, so I want to see them get aggressive. I identify that they killed Taylor J over on the other shack, and they saw this rotation from a United. I want to see Wildcard capitalize on that and get themselves some further space into the circle. One thing to note is we have a four-man stack with Lazarus still alive. No Tempo Storm in this late game again, so opportunity for Lazarus. They don't have a lot of kills, but they can capitalize at this point. They are not inside the safe zone, and it's going to be a pretty difficult rotation for them, depending on the path they choose to go with. And Dimmick looks like they've just decided they're going to play a little bit of a dip off to the side of this as Crispy's made his stop over there. Something continuing on, but you can see Ghost right on the edge of the circle. A lot of teams looking back towards him. Yeah, this is a great spot for Ghost, actually, to pick up some uh, kills. Because obviously you can see everything kind of east of Ghost is just open field. So Ghost actually still occupying this compound is pretty huge. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a pain for all the other teams. We're talking about Endemic forced into a really bad spot here on the south side. But hopefully they can find a spot to play out of. There are a lot of teams right at Ghost's doorstep. You can see Endemic's wanting to push back over there. Vanquish Reno. Lazarus looking as well, though. Lazarus yeah. need to find a way in. Lazarus looks like they might be opting to push back over towards where Wildcard is at. Already hopping inside of the vehicles. You can see rotations coming through. They actually, you can see Wildcard just runs right up into EU United. Balefrost, the last member up, down to about half life. But the push does not come through very efficiently. Doesn't matter as there's going to be third party coming in as Wildcard doesn't have an easy way to make their way out of the spot. I mean, this is good. This is what I wanted to see from Wildcard. Identify that weak spot and push in and try and take some more space. But we can see in the kill feed now, Fozu actually getting a knock on to Kickstarter. Aelo getting a knock on to Pentazone. I think it's just one up for Wildcard. Wildcard now. And Dimmick's moving into a little bit more oh, of an aggressive no. spot, but Lazarus is just on the hunt right now, just pushing across that ravine, trying to find any path thing they can take. It's going to be Vanquish taking a couple of shots to him. Side. I mean, great work from Lazarus to identify, obviously. They couldn't work their way in on the, oh. on the east side. They're going to lose somebody, Matt, but it, it doesn't matter. They've, they've got themselves into the circle. They do have themselves a spot that they can play off right now, but Vanquish has been holding down this location quite efficiently for a while now. You can see that there's wreckage, dead bodies everywhere. Lazarus gifted with being able to loot like two different squads that have been yeah. inside of this position, so getting a little bit out of it, maybe a little bit more utility that they are going to desperately need for that late game, uh, but Endemic uh, making a push back over towards Ghost. I was going to say, Endemic just need to force the issue here. Vegas getting an open knock onto Wolf. This could be problems here for Endemic. Chris Beer trying to go for the spray back in the doorway, but it's going to be a little bit of a reposition as he's just trying to find something out this. Finally gets the sight line back over towards one of the members, but you can see it's going to be Vegas that's dancing around this. Lazarus is going to be taking a couple of pot shots into this as well. Drassel's already down inside of the skirmish, but Vegas just steps up, gets it down onto one. Looks back over, oh. gets another one, and Endemic is wiped out. 
That was a clean transfer from Vegas there. Great hole from Ghost, only losing, well, they didn't even lose one. Only one knock going over in the form of Drassel, so they're gonna get this res here. Kurt actually pushing into the compound. No, he's not, he's outside. There's a ton of crates that are down around him. Looks like he's gonna try to use those for cover. Vanquish realizes they need to make a push back into the safe zone as well. So they're gonna use vehicles and just crash him right next to these hay bales. Everybody's starting to reposition around the point where Ghost is at. And this means that Ghost is gonna to have to fight their way out of this. I mean, there's, there's, there's one small ridge in the middle of this, but pretty much the center of the circle where Finner has pulled into, the sight lines are, uh, aren't great to look into where he's at. He's gonna have a couple of, you know, tractors and hay bales, like you said, Matt, but not a great opportunity here for Vanquish to push on to Ghost. I like this, though. Vanquish is moving down into this position to try to contain. The problem with it is Lazarus is on the backside of this and take a couple of shots at him. Ghost going to lose most of their buildings inside this complex. They're still going to have, like, one and a half that they can play around. But if they all just contain inside that one little spot, they're going to not have anywhere to go for the next circle. I mean, the problem is that Lazarus have a potential to backstab Vanquish here. And obviously, Kurt in this spoiler position on Ghost, it kind of gives them the opportunity to get information on both sides of the circle. Kurt actually down to half HP, so I'm pretty sure Ghost have spotted him out and already done some damage to him, but right now we need Alo and Uncivil to do something to try and, you know, aid this push from Vanquish. Fozu does manage to complete the push over there as well as Vanquish gets more and more control towards the center of the circle. Finn, it does take a little bit of damage, but you can see Ghost trying to go for a reposition. Long range grenade, looks like it could land right over next to Vanquish and oh! does get a down off of it. That is really big. Ghost could capitalize off of this, but Purdy in his position might be able to spot out Vegas. He's perfectly fine, like except for the oh, Vegas, Vegas. Spots out. What is going on with this? Ghost is on fire right now. I, Vegas is on fire right now. He's doing absolutely insane. Absolutely turning on Kurt there. That first nade up onto Fozu as well. I'm hoping Ghost can push up and capitalize on this. You see the second nade going over towards the res. Now look, Uncivil is starting to capitalize off of that as well. He's slowly creeping over there, throwing out the grenades. Vanquish, who had themselves a great spot just a second ago, now finding themselves pincered between two different squads. Van you can see Vegas looking backward towards Alo right now. Vanquish still just trying to get a little bit more time to get those reses off. They do manage to accomplish it. Tetris, back in the back. Somehow Vanquish is managing to hold the ground, but there's so many presses coming from so many different angles, it's so hard to contain. Vegas finally does get a sightline back over towards one. Uncivil gets a sightline as well. That's gonna be a quick tap onto Reno to get him down. Trying to capitalize, does get the flush on. Uncivil up to six kills right now. McCoy nice getting a knock nice. on the finish. Really? Nice now nice we're gonna ball. listen to Ghost Combs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out them, Drassie. Watch it. Okay, on this north my, mark, my mark, my mark. Glasses on my mark. Okay, they could be on our North Ridge, Vegas. Like, just press. I'm with you guys, I'm with you guys. Okay. We're all, let's not get naded here. Yeah, so Drassel, you need, Drassel, you need to, there's you need to stay far, inside the building. Far yeah, there's a guy far. You guys got more smokes, right? I have one. Yeah, I have smokes, one. I have smokes. Okay, you guys oh, see the red one. tractor? Behind red tractor, there's a guy on the ridge. Lazarus. Are you naded? Yeah, 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 I'm moving back, back, I'm back up. Back. They're not, they're not close. There's a guy on green still, he gets to run. Yeah, let's aim battle, let's get green. Everyone focus green and wide us up. Hit him one, I'll later. Keep prone. We need to watch north. We can't let him prone up. I knocked the guy, you guys. Okay, that's the far guy, nice job. Nice. BQ on the left, BQ on the left. BQ's to the right. How many Lazarus? How many Lazarus? Uh, Lazarus two, I think. Two, two. Yeah, two on one BQ. Two on one BQ. Two on one BQ. I'm gonna nade that guy. We should push right and clear the one BQ guy. Okay. We have zone here. We have zone. Yeah, we do have zone. Okay, okay. Let's okay. I don't. Let's just try and aim battle the uh, last guy on orange. Okay. I'm gonna try to go left. Someone come left with me, so we have this. I'm holding. I'm holding left. I'm holding that guy. There's a solo. There should be a BQ guy somewhere still. I think he's right there. in front of us, like the smoking car. Center. I don't see that guy shooting at all. We just wait till last guy gets pushed out. Okay? Yeah, you think he's on the guy. smoking car? I'm gonna nade it. Potentially, he's in that door. Watch there out, Dress. Watch out, Dress. Watch out, Dress. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just watching for you. I got him. I got him. Nice. Push, right. push right. Push right with me. Three man. Let's yeah, stay yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. Stay go, left. Go, go. Wait, you stay off angle. Clear right. Yeah, they're just prone in the weed field. Four v two of your slabs, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, need that too. I'm gonna need that too. We hold zone here, one. spread out. Don't get naded. I'm smoking for cover. I needed. I needed one. Do one far edge, far edge. I'm, I'm looting Over bodies for a grid. He's speaking me. I can't shoot him. I got nades. So I'm gonna nade last. We only see one. We don't know where the other one's at. One exactly on that last nade. Yeah, see that? Taking right. I hit him. I hit him. This guy stayed up. This guy. No, I hit him once. I hit him once. I'm nading. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah, yeah. I'm holding. Just chill. Wait till they reaches out. Yeah, yeah. He's walling you. I'm falling back. You're good. I'm so good. Right with smoke. My rage is out. I'm waiting a second. I'm smoking. One exactly my marker. Here. One blue. We need to make a play here. We need to make I'm a play. I'm at the biggest. tractor. I'm at the tractor. I need a heal. Someone can come right with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push him right with, with me. We can get this. Calm, calm. Relax. Sweet. I'm pushing up. I need a prone to heal. Oh, he got me. He's one HP. I'm on my tractor. He's on the ridge. On the ridge. On the tractor. It's chill. We have, we have dot. I'm healing. 
Not in a good spot anymore. Do you have another, you have another smoke, McCoy? No. One on my mark. Far right, uh, right side. There's one left side, far left side. I lit him up on the left. They're right, they're right. I knocked one. Last nice. one's nice. left. Nice. Halo's left. Did you knock right or left? Right, right, or left? I knocked right, knocked right. Okay, he okay, has okay. a ridge still, he has a ridge still. Okay. Nikoi, can you res? Nikoi, I'm on you. Okay, go left. Uh, I don't want to res you. I think we just okay. need to do it. Yeah, he's left side still, left side still. Okay, I'm running out to Vegas. Okay. I'm just chilling. He could shoot me in my feet, maybe. I think he's just prone. Yeah, he's farther around the ridge. I'm healing. He might get my foot. Nikoi is weak. I'm resing Vegas. Nikoi. Okay. Keep comms. He's on our side. I killed the guy up. I just headshot him. Two, two seconds, two seconds. Vegas, let's run over and you get first. Just push him. Yeah, yeah. I'm W King, I'm W King. Trade me, trade me. He's right in front of you, right in front of you. Nice, nice, nice job, job guys. Yo, good job, yo. Vegas. Finally, it's all good. Ghost Gaming walks away with 11 kills and the round win. Solid performance and strong push there. That was a very difficult push to make across that wide open field. I mean, it was. I love the fact that they reset. Obviously, Shrimsy called them. They need to make a make a play on that circle. Obviously, Halo and Uncivil's positioning was actually, you know, better than Ghosts coming into that when the final circle posted. But Shrimsy calling now. They needed to make moves before, you know, it was too late. Don't wait for the blue to force you to make a play because that's what everybody waits for is that, oh, now that you're being forced into this position, the moment you stop to try to get the line of sight, you're going to take a look.